You'll never hear the end of it. I know, I know. I know. And I'll be, I'll be leading the charge. I'll be the first one. Shout out to but that might be a good um, a, a blueprint. Because then right after that, I drop some good music that's really, really good. He's gonna but no, it's terrible. No, because no, everybody's no, going to do no, it. No, Zabs. No. Um, Timberland did that. Did what? He with, did with a verse Biggie with, with Biggie. Yeah, oh, yeah. And he was yeah. promoting it. Heavy. All you need and is a computer. You're going to have every whack in the world with a Biggie verse. It's trash. Like, like terrible But Mega, Mega, it's going to happen. It will be. It's already happened. It's, it's not happen. terrible. It's not. It's bro, it's gonna happen. All it's gonna take. I'm gonna cook you. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna cook whoever you are. All it's gonna take. I'm gonna cook you. It's I'm gonna cook one, you for that. One estate. <laughs> one. One. One estate. Or one person with some real bread to sue whoever did that's that true, verse and monetize it. Sue them into the fucking Stone Age. Right. But what if they're not using it to monetize? They're using it just for more. Then it's then it's then it's still point. And but I then, can still sue you. Yeah. I didn't give you permission. I can still shut it down. That's like, okay, know. Chip, if you made a beat, I can still shut it down. if you made a beat, and I, and I can shut down any made, place that plays it. If you made a beat and just used an acapella from some a prodigy acapella, his estate will chop your head off. Like, what, what are you doing, bro? But, but when you talking about the Kobe what? shirts? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Homie, yes. That, homie that sent me the, the Kobe shirt. Mm. The state got in contact with him. Damn. and was like, yo, you can't, you can't make them shirts. It's bootleg, it's bootleg music. So if you buying them, if you buying them up t-shirts outside the concert, you be the same kind of dude who want to get one of them AI verses. That you be the same dude. You didn't get the official merch. You nah, ain't got man. some let, bootleg. Let, let them t-shirt niggas live, man. It's just a t-shirt. Me talking shit ain't gonna stop them from selling it or yeah, no, buying it. Saying, However, if you walk out of the concert and you got <laughs> you waited till you got outside. Yep. Just had that shit on already, like yo, ten dollars. <laughs> Word, lots. Sure. You, got lots the, you got the witty Houston this shirt on. Word, Facts, bro. Yeah. Be doing that. This fake jewelry, man. Don't do that. You are gonna be selling fake nah, tickets. Nah, I was just the concert. Just saying, fun. Just, just spit with somebody. Jab. Man, yeah, you got too right many here. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Get a song with this dude. He right here. That's in the. That's in the alive, that's, breathing. That's in the making. Legendary, that. right here. Big also big known for his hands. <laughs> <laughs> right here. No, hey, right hey, hold on, hold on. Chill. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Done. He's actually right here. He said that. He said that in the verse last night. Knocking out like man, Paula. Yeah, yeah. Fast, yeah. Fast. Shout, out to Grab. Like, yeah. Shout out to my man, Grab. Yeah. I like, finally got to run on stage when he said that. He opens yeah. the show. I was like, us. what the fuck is this math going? He was like, yo, come on. He was waiting I was for like, it. What the I know it was coming. Uh, Once I heard the beat come on, I was like, oh, let's go to the stage yeah, right yeah, now. I know hard. what he about to do. He yeah. did it at the Sean Price. Um, did you throw the, the combo? Did yeah, you, I'm glad I wasn't there yeah, with yeah, Hold on, hold up. Did you throw the combo? Like, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't show him that no more. I can't show him. We broadcasting. We broadcasting. We broadcasting. But speaking of rocking with the greats, before, the, before we took the break, we were just about to talk about one of the biggest fights in boxing history. Mm. Also one of the most controversial mm. situations in boxing history. Mm. You know, it's not often that we get to see a matchup that's like, <gasps> you're holding your breath for it. It's happening. <laughs> like, it's really going to happen now? Yep. We were all anticipating it. And we saw you go through your ups and downs. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people felt like, ah, I don't think he's going, ah, he, I don't know if he's going to rip, mm, I don't know. But pound for pound, they were like, these two right here, that's the match. And when it was announced, I'm surprised we're still here because most people thought the world would explode. <laughs> as soon as you heard Jails exploded. <laughs> Zab Judah versus Floyd Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Crazy, yeah. Crazy. How did how did it happen? And and tell me your mindset going into that fight. Um it happened because, you know, we was the two best. We was the two we was the you know the top of upper echelons of boxing at this time. And it's kind of funny because Mike Tyson, he predicted this like maybe uh, years before this. You know, me and Floyd was like brothers growing up. You know, we was at Mike's house one day, and we were sitting on his couch. And Mike was like, "Michael, you know, Mike just Mike is a very intelligent person." He looked over at us. He said, "You two gonna fight?" And we like, "Nah, it's, it's my brother. You crazy? I ain't fight. I ain't never gonna fight." He said, "You know why you're gonna fight? 
because y'all going to be the two best fighters in the whole world, and the world's going to demand it. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to give the world what they want. They're going to they're gonna give you whatever you want, so you're going to have to give them whatever they want. And we was looking at you like, nah, nah. Fast forward years later, we fought. So when it happened, at the time, uh, you know, looking back now, I felt like I was set up. I feel like, I feel like it, was, it was set up not through Floyd, through the networks. Wow. The networks set up, meaning they wanted to see this fight and they were willing to do anything that they had to do to make sure this go off. Mm -hmm. I got set up by a reporter. A reporter called me. I'm champ of the world now. I'm young, Zab, Brooklyn, holding it down. got the belt, everything. You know, I'm at 140 pounds. At this time, Mayweather, no, I was at, before that, yeah, 47. I was 47. I think he was, uh, no, no, he, he was at 47 too. Mm -hmm. And um, somebody came and said, you know, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what about you, you, you and Floyd fighting? And I'm like, nah, that's my brother. Ah, ah, we know, yeah, yeah. And it was like, well, you know, we, had, we did an interview with Floyd, and Floyd said that da, 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 he's the best ever in the world, and there's nobody pound for pound that could touch him, and, da, 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 and, 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 and he coming to 140, and he taking the title. So me, not thinking rightly, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on 10 these days, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, I'm, right. I'm, I'm, so I'm like, what? He said, what? So what? Can't nobody beat me. Nobody in the world, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know... I think I said a little bit, a little bit more, but you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, I said a little bit more, and then my statement got back to him, right. and he said his part back that I heard on the site, and it came out, and I was like, "What? You can't?" And it was like, "Well, can you?" He was like, "Yeah, I can. I, 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 I knock him out," and I'm like, "What? Knock who out?" Like, and it just, I just went to ten from there. And but you got each me, other's number. We got each other's numbers. You know, at this time we started feuding. We started feuding. We started like. Doing silly stuff, you know what I'm saying? We young at this time. We young, we rich. We like, like, no, I mean, like, we 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 up. We good, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, and these days, a million dollars is a lot of money. Remember that? I want to be a millionaire. Remember that? Yeah. It was no, <laughs> it was no, <laughs> it was no talk about billions. Like yeah, that was right. like far from what billion? What the fuck is that? You know right. what I'm saying? So right. it was millionaire stuff right now. So we young, mm -hmm. top of the line, and we was doing it, moving it, and we just ran into a lot of problems. I feel like for, for me, the media came at me, told me some stuff he said. I said my stuff, he said his stuff, and next thing I know, the fight was on. So you don't it, feel like it, it was, was ego? You don't feel like it was an ego thing? Nah, what's ego? During what's, that time? Nah, what's ego? I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> like he poked his chest out, you poked your chest out. Like I I'm, just told you, I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah, you yeah, it's really it's really us. Very black and white. Well, I'm I'm man, man, you, think you said something, we gonna fight. We're taking the call challenge. Is we're taking the challenge. All right. call outs is mandatory. Yeah, yeah. right. 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 That Antonio shot friendship or nothing during that time. One hundred percent. After that, from the time me and Floyd fought, we probably never we we didn't see eye to eye until we until he fought Manny Pacquiao. And then once he fought Manny Pacquiao, you know what I'm saying, he brought me in to help him out, you know what I'm saying, with the speed and everything like that. And, you know, we, you know, we, ch we chopped it up and we just kept it moving and just been cordial. You know, I see Flurry from time to time. Matter of fact, last time I seen, I seen him at the Pro Bowl with him and his sons, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's all love. I mean, like I said, his mama know my mama. I know his mama. He know my mama. He know my kids. I know his kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, ain't, like Biggie said, ain't no beef. My mama sleep good at night. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's all good. This is hot for trap trapper turns smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to serve.